Well, hello and welcome back to another video in our series on Power Virtual Agents. That's, of course, a member of the Power Platform that's focused on chatbot development. And uh, in our previous video, we really got you an introduction to what Power Virtual Agents is all about, how to get going within the tool, how to get familiar with the environment. But now we're going to start to look at some other very specific features. And the feature we're going to be looking at in today's video is one called Suggested Topics. Now, if you remember from our previous video, we discussed the purpose of topics is how you're able to organize the different conversations that you have with inside of Power Virtual Agents. And you can go through that process of creating topics either on your own or what we're about to see in this video is how we can create topics based on suggestions that can be provided from a web address. So, for example, you could have a frequently asked questions page on your website and you can use that frequently asked questions page as a reference to build out topics because likely that FAQ page on your website has many different questions and possible answers for those questions. So why not take full advantage of that and build out a chatbot topic based on those FAQ question and answers that you have. So let's jump into a demonstration and show you how you can use an frequently asked questions page on your website to be able to create topics with inside of Power Virtual Agent. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. So in the demonstration we're going to look at here, I already have a chatbot that has been created. This is actually following up from a demonstration that we did previously. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the topics area and create a new topic and then show how by creating that topic, we can actually pull it in from a web URL. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the topics section on the far top left. And we're going to create a new set of topics, but we're going to create those topics not by selecting the new topics option, but instead by actually selecting the suggested topic option, which allows you to pull in from a website, from an FAQ page, a list of possible things that your users might ask or interact with with inside of your chatbot. So we're going to go ahead and select suggested topics here. And then we're going to plug in a web URL that we can then use as a source. And so I have one that I have pasted or copied and pasted on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and bring in here. And let me show you the page that we're about to go to. This is actually a Microsoft licensing page that talks about all of the licensing of Windows and Office. And you can expand these and see all of these different questions that are available with inside of the licensing page for Microsoft. And what I'd like to do is I want to create several suggested topics based on the questions and answers that are found with inside of this FAQ page. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to plug in the URL here. Now, you will notice that it does need to be a secure SSL certificate link. You can't have one that's just HTTP. It has to be an HTTPS link to be able to be used here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the URL, which is an HTTPS URL here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And I can add more than I want that this if I wanted to. I could actually provide more than one URL. And by providing these additional URLs, it can scan each of those websites and bring all of them back as a specific set of topics that are created. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. And this will take just a few moments. It doesn't take too long, but it'll take you know one to two minutes here. And it's going to start creating some topics for us. And you can see that up on the top here. It says, getting your suggestions. This may take several minutes. But once it's done, you'll see underneath the suggested section that several topics have been created for you. Now, those suggested topics are not automatically added to your chatbot. You actually do need to go through them and validate that they are the topics that you want to be added to your chatbot, which is a good thing. You don't want to just assume everything on your FAQ page should be added in as a chatbot topic. So you're going to have to go through the process of looking through each of the suggested topics that are created and decide which of them are ones you actually want to be added to your chatbot. You'll also notice once you add them to the topic list that by default they are turned off. So not only do you need to add them into your topic area, you will also need to turn them on, which is something that we'll do here in just a few moments. I'm stalling a little bit here while it's reading through our FAQ page. We happen to pick an FAQ page that had a lot of topics. In fact, you can see right here it found 26 suggested topics for us. It finally finished. And so if we were to go to the suggested section here, we can see all of the topics that were created for us. So it's created several different topics based on the questions that are on our FAQ page. 
Now, one of the things that you'll notice is this doesn't necessarily follow some of the best practices that we talked about in our previous video of having five to 10 trigger phrases. This is really just gonna have the one single trigger phrase of whatever the question is. So you may need to go in and make some modifications to these topics after they're created. But you can go and look into any one of these topics that you want. So I can look into something like, is this media bootable? And I can suggest that topic and I can actually look at the topic that's gonna to be created for me. So this is what it's gonna look like if I were to accept this topic. It gives you a little preview here so you can see what it looks like. It's gonna have a trigger phrase that says, is the media bootable? And then it's also gonna have a message that is returned back to our users. The media for this site can be used to create bootable USB drives and DVDs, blah, 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 you get the idea. So if the user asks the question, is the media boot bootable, this is the response that's gonna be sent back to them. So it's a pretty simple topic that's created, but it does save you quite a bit of time by feeding into these FAQ pages that you have. And then of course you can go in and modify them after you add them. This is just the starting point and saves you a lot of that initial creation if you choose to go this route. Now, if one of these topics are ones that you don't think would be useful to you, you can always hit the delete key in the bottom left. And by selecting that, you'll see that this is the media bootable will be deleted here in a few moments. And actually it's already been deleted, now it's gone. So you can kind of come through here and you can look at which of the suggested topics you like, which ones you don't like, you can delete them, you can keep them. But if you find one that you like, you can either select the option right here that says add to existing topics, which means that that topic will be added into your regular topic area. That's this area right here. Once you select that add to existing. So that'll give you the option right there to be able to add it to your existing topics. If you find one that you really want that you think should be part of your chatbot, you can select it here. So let's say for example, uh, my Windows 7 product key, key won't verify, what's the problem? I can add that in as an existing topic by selecting this option right here. You'll see up at the top here that it's telling me that it's adding it to the existing topic section. So it's gonna move it from the suggested over to the existing. So you'll see the existing go up by one here in a few moments once it's done moving it over. And then you can also, by the way, you can look at them and you can add them here as well. So you have more than one place you can add them if you needed to. Let me take myself off screen so you can see that a little better. But you can actually come up to the bottom right when you're previewing it and say that you want to add the topic or add to topic and edit. So that would allow you to not only add it, but go ahead and edit it right away as well. So that's the options that you have here. You can see that my existing number was incremented up here. So you know now that there is... Uh, that uh, topic that we just added as a suggested topic has been moved from suggested to existing. And so if I go over to existing, I can see all of the topics, but I also note the new one that was just added from my suggested section. Now, like I mentioned earlier, by default, that's turned off. So if you want to use that new topic, you would simply turn it on and it'll take a few moments, but that will now turn on this new topic that we've just created. And of course, you can go edit that topic by going into it and selecting it and you can select that you wanna add in additional trigger phrases perhaps, you likely should. Remember, you should have five to 10 trigger phrases. And then you can go into the authoring canvas and add in any other additional changes that you might want to have with inside this new topic that's been created for you. So very simple video for you today, but this is the idea of how you can add in suggested topics into your chatbots that you've created. Hopefully you got something out of this one. Again, a very quick and short little video, but it really is a great way to get a kickstart on the topic creation that you might be struggling with. So if you're really struggling to get started, look and see if your website has an FAQ page, and that could be the starting point for what you are trying to accomplish within your chatbot. But keep in mind, you will likely want to make some modifications to those topics once they're created. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining, and have a good one. Take care.